Hi, this is Aaron Konzila, and I'm here to show you how to ship IoT using MediaTek Linkit 1 Development Board and the Bipio Data Services. Okay, first you want to go to your Bipio dashboard at shipiot.net and click on Create a BIP. And we'll add our event source as an incoming webhook and set the endpoint. And we'll go to the parser and configure our JSON payload. X, a number. Y, a number. And Z, a number. Then NMEA, a string. Click parse to create a JSON schema. And we're good. Go to auth, this API token here. You'll need to use this in your HTTP request to the endpoint. So we go back to setup, add a function, and we're going to go to regex replace. We're going to use this to format the information coming in. Open up your regex. Now the input to the regex here will come from our parsed JSON schema. We're going to use the NMEA data. Our regex will be this, which I created to pull all the various bits out and turn it into something more human friendly. And we're going to replace that with this string, which will be the message that we actually send out. And this uses the capture groups in the regex up here to uh, reformat things into this friendly string here. Click OK. And we're going to add an eval. Connect that to the regex. This we're going to use to test if the z-axis data is less than 230. Now this value I got empirically by testing the output of the accelerometer and seeing that the only time that it would go below approximately 250 or so is if the accelerometer was severely tilted to the side. So any value below 230, it's safe to say that in the case of a motorcycle crash detector, the bike is on its side or otherwise not operating. So that will trigger our event. All right, then we're going to add a test Input is truthy. This will check the output of our math expression there. And if that test is true and the z-axis is below 230, it'll fire the event off to the next piece. So now we want an action attached to this. So we'll go to our list of pods. We'll pick Twitter. If this is your first time using it, it'll ask you to integrate with your Twitter account so that it has access to send. So we're going to use this and do send direct message. So I want this to tweet to me personally. So we connect this to the output of the test. And this will configure it so that the Twitter event is only processed when that test detects truth coming out of our expression up here. Now the direct message content, hit attributes. We're going to grab the regex output from previous in our data flow, which has our human friendly string, and then the user ID to send this to. And this is just a Twitter username. All right, click OK. And then we want to fan out this data to a Google spreadsheet also. And this will make sure that we have a record of any events. So we're going to use the append to spreadsheet function here. And 
and also connect this to the output of our test. Now for this we have to specify the spreadsheet name, the worksheet name, and what data is going to go into the new row. Uh, you need to already have this spreadsheet created in Google Sheets and have a worksheet that has this name in that spreadsheet for this to work. For our new row, we'll hit custom, bring up our list of attributes, and again we're going to take the output string from our regex replace, which is that human friendly string, and you'll notice if you look at this uh, regex, it will output things in a comma separated manner and these comma separated fields will end up going into separate columns in the spreadsheet. So that's how you would set that up. And that's it for our BIP. So all we have to do is save this. And our API should be available at this endpoint up here. Just make sure that you put this endpoint and this host name and your auth header from the auth tab over here into your code so that your MediaTek Linkit board can access this API. And that's it. We'll test it out. Let's go for a ride. Power it on, and then wait for the red LED. And once it's ready, the green light comes on. We put it in the bike, and that's it. We're good to go. actually going to drop the bike, but we will test this. You'll see that shortly. Okay, so here we can see our data workflow, and it comes through, goes through our processing, and fans out to Twitter and Google Sheets. This is the sheet that the data will end up in. So we take our demo here, and this is linked up. It's synced to GPS, and we're going to turn it sideways to simulate a bike crash. So we'll let it send the message, and then we'll see pop up on Twitter through the Pebble Watch and right in the spreadsheet, bam, there's our message. Right through Twitter and right through the Google Sheets. And here in Twitter, we can see the messages come right through with all the data from the board. Pretty cool stuff. And to take a board like this and hook it up with the Bipio data services and get a result like this and be able to keep track of a motorcycle, see if there's any problems right away, that's awesome. And this only took us a couple hours to put together.